Hey Pilots Trigger here and today we're going to be talking about the F-16 air to ground radar specifically the ground map radar and we're going to be using the TGP to put a JDAM onto a target. Now the ground map mode is new to DCS in the latest open beta so you need the latest open beta in order to use the air to ground radar in ground map mode and due to it being an early access there are quite a few bugs associated with the radar but we can still get it to work and find targets. Now I'm not going to make this a full-on tutorial until the air to ground radar gets a little more refined but this is going to help you find targets with the air to ground radar and also put the targeting pod on it to deliver weapons. All right so now we're in the cockpit of the F-16 let's go ahead and hit the air to ground radar mode button on the ICP and you can see the ground map mode is the default mode and it brings it up on the left MFD and we have our SMIZ page on the right. Now I went ahead and powered up the JDAMs on the right side and moved it to steer point 2 because that's our target waypoint. It's actually Groom Lake or Area 51. We're going to be looking for some alien craft at Area 51 and they might be Russian. Now the next thing we want to talk about is the auto and manual mode for OSB2 and I want to be in manual mode and it says auto so we are in quote unquote manual mode. I believe this is wrong and hopefully it's fixed in the future. But uh, let's go ahead and expand with the pinky button. So we use the pinky switch to go to expand. Now we're in DBS1 with another switch of the pinky switch. And now we're in DBS2. So DBS1 is an 8 to 1 and DBS2 is a 64 to 1. Now being in DBS mode is an increased resolution of the map and a more precise cursor placement. So I recommend being in DBS2 while doing this. And I would recommend being in a scale of 10. Now the scale in this regard is the image scale size, not the range from aircraft, and that's from WAGS. Now I prefer the azimuth on a 30 degree scan, I believe 10 is too fast and 6 is too slow, so I have it on 3. So right now I'm messing with the contrast, and I'm actually increasing the contrast because I feel like it brings out the reflective targets more. So you can mess around with yourself, and right now I'm going to go ahead and go into freeze mode and use the cursor slew and put it on some targets that we know that are there. Now these are the Russian alien aircraft. So what I did is TMS up, and I went into a FTT, or Fixed Target Track. Okay, we are now going to put the TGP on the right-hand side, increase the brightness all the way up. And right now it's actually looking at steer point 2. And how do we fix that right now? We need to hit the target button on the FCR. So when we hit the target button on the FCR, which is on the bottom right, it will now slew the TGP to our Fixed Target Track. Now when you make a fixed target track with TMS up on the FCR, it should automatically create a SPI and the targeting pod should automatically slew to the new SPI location if it's not in ground stabilized mode. So important, make sure you hit the target button on the FCR to slew the TGP to your fixed target track that you created on the radar. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go into the TGP and just like normal, we'll go ahead and pinky switch to expand, go to zoom and then we'll use our range increase to zoom in here. Using TMS left to change to white hot, and we can use our contrast here as well to go ahead and uh, make the target stand out a little bit better. All right, so we're a little closer. We're turning into the target right now. We're just about to drop our JDAM on our first target, lining up with the ASL or the azimuth steering line, and one away. Now we dropped that 2,000 pound bomb, so we need some trim. Let me turn off the autopilot here. I had the autopilot on. Let me find another aircraft here. And let's go ahead and drop another one. Boom. So there's two JDAMs off right now. Big ol' boom. Now, like I said, this is not a full-on tutorial, and that will come when the air-to-ground radar gets a little more refined. Thanks for watching, though. We'll see you on the next one.